boy, who's got it better than us? Nobody! Oh man, let's go blue, baby. God, it feels good to wake up knowing that the team that you root for is a national champion. It just feels freaking amazing, man. Let's first talk about the game. I had said this on my podcast. When people were trying to say Michigan has not faced a team like Washington all year, that was probably correct. But Michigan has faced a team like Washington the year before. Ohio State, C.J. Stroud, those receivers, Michigan knew how to take them down. And they did that last year, the year before. And this year, that offense that everyone was raving about, and my God, how are they going to stop Michael Penix? We're going to hold them to one touchdown. That's how we're going to stop them. This was just such a dominating victory. Starting, it started dominating fashion and ended in dominating fashion. The run game was just off the charts. Donovan Edwards just came out of nowhere. And I, I, for a guy that came on the scene really strong, especially last year, this year it was like, where's the Don? He's barely, he's not really doing a whole lot. And now that game, two touches, first two touches, both touchdowns. Love what I saw from him. Then Blake Corum, the finisher, his two touchdowns to end the game. The defense, Will Johnson with, my God, what an interception. There's interceptions, and then there's just full-on concentration for the interception. That's what he had on that pick. And Mike, Mikey Sanistro, I was hoping he would take it to the house. I was screaming at TV, go, go, Mikey, go, Mikey, go, go, go. And he just got knocked down just short. But then Blake finished it off. Man. For those that want to try and say that this championship is tainted, I think you're just an idiot. I, or you're just a hater and you just hate Michigan. If you want to try and make the claim that they were cheating in those games, whatever. The first ones, whatever this year. But let me tell you right now. They were not cheating against Ohio State. They were not cheating against Bama, against Iowa, against Washington, against Penn State. And three of those games, sorry, two of those games I just named off, we didn't have our head coach. We didn't have Jim Harbaugh. And we still won. So what's your argument? You have nothing to say. You have absolutely nothing to say. Anyone that wants to say it's tainted, no, it's not tainted. The NCAA will not take that away from us. It'd be horrible for the brand, of, be, sorry, for the NCAA to take that away, and they know it. It's the biggest middle finger that Harbaugh could give to the NCAA because personally, I do think he's gone as well. And Buckeye fans, this is what I love. This is the best thing. Years when Harbaugh was not being Ohio State, all I heard from Buckeye fans we want Harbaugh to stay. Lifetime contract. And now I see the comments of, oh my God, your coach is leaving you. What do you want? Do you want him there or do you want him gone? Make up your freaking mind, man. It's pretty sad. Like, I don't know what you want, Buckeye fans. You wanted him there. Now you want him gone. Like, what do you want? It's so funny. You're begging for him to leave because he owns Ryan Day. Three and one against the dude. Ryan, and you want to know why? Because this is why we'll talk about this. When the turnaround happened in Michigan and people just don't freaking get it. They think, oh, there's Connor Stallions. God, you're like freaking idiots. 2020, that COVID year. What we have, we had a horrible defense and coaching staff that had to go. Harbaugh made those changes. You don't think a new coaching staff coming in can somehow impact a game, or sorry, impact a team? New coaches can always impact teams, okay? So when Harbaugh says, I will bring in a new defensive coordinator, new offense, like new coaches, younger coaches, when he did that, you don't think that played a role in Michigan's turnaround? Idiots. That's all I can say. Like, just idiots that think that coaches don't make a change. Harbaugh literally 
goes to San Francisco, who had like eight straight losing seasons, and Alex Smith, quarterback, who looked like a bus in year one, turns him around. Wow, new coaching staff can do that. Nobody understands that. Turns Stanford into a perennial powerhouse at the time. Yes, he had Andrew Luck, but man, Stan Stanford playing football? Yeah. Harbaugh, I do think, is gone. And for your Buckeye fans that are begging for him to leave, you'll have your wish. You'll have it. But don't worry. Even Sharon Moore can beat Ryan Day. Who's Who can not beat Ryan Day at this point? <laughs> oh, my God. I hope Buckeye fans see this and are just wiping their tears. They're like, oh, my God, Michigan won the national title. You have zero to say. All I, I heard... Well, we won the most recent title. Not anymore. Well, I mean, we've done right. Jim Harbaugh's record in the playoffs. Not anymore. Like, what can you say? You have nothing to say. Go blue, baby. It just feels great. I spent, oh my God, I spent a lot of money on memorabilia. Because you know why? People, and I've, I've heard this question asked me too. Well, is it worth it? Is all, everything that's going on and all of this, is it worth winning just this national title? Yeah. Think about the teams that hit lightning in a bottle. 2019 LSU. That was lightning in a bottle, man. Lightning in the bottle. What have they done since? They haven't even smelled the playoffs since. Okay. Alabama, Georgia, obviously have had their dominance. But when you look at other teams in the past, like Florida State made it to the playoffs. They didn't do anything. But you know, meet BCS the year before they won. Oregon hasn't. I think they only made the playoffs that one year, but they made it to the title game. So, like, getting to – one point is getting to that game. And do you think Washington's going to be back in the title game next year? Doubt it. So, my point is that this opportunity just doesn't come often for any teams. So, when you have the opportunity, you got to take advantage of it. And that's what Michigan did. Not by cheating, but because everyone says – one more year. We are going to come back and we're going to do it for Michigan and that's what they did. And the last thing I'll say find me a culture that was built like Michigan. The brotherhood, the love that these players have for each other. What I'm so happy for is that these, for the players man these guys put in the work, the effort they knew we now are going to go back, we're going to win the national title that was their goal, their mindset everything going into this season and they made it happen. No one beat Michigan this year. 15-0, undefeated, go blue. I'm happy for those kids. I'm happy for Michigan. Feels good to be a Wolverine, baby.